Well, good morning. This is the Lou Rockwell Show, and it's great to have as our guest this morning, Vidya Lichka, who is the president of a new country. One reason it's nice to have you on, my guess is that most presidents of countries in this world are either murderers or prepared to be murderers. You're a nice exception to that because you're actually starting a libertarian country. And uh, first of all, tell us, where is Liberland? Where is it located on the map of Europe? It's between Serbia and Croatia, some 30 kilometers from Hungarian border. Uh, so, you know, it's a very nice weather. It's just like maybe California or Florida. Wow. And, uh, you know, it's right on the Dunaba River, which means that it is on the international waters. Everybody should have free access to the area. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Mr. Woods wrote an article or uh, gave us an endorsement that was explaining how, uh, uh, you know, the recent situation when our land is blocked by Croatia police is sort of illegal, uh, what they are doing there right now. I was going to ask. How are the other countries reacting? How about this? How is Serbia and Croatia reacting? <laughs> well, you know they are pretty enthusiastic about it, but they still uh, don't know what to do. What to do with us? Uh, <laughs> yes. You know, the Serbia wrote us a letter uh, which says, you know, this is not their territory. They don't. They don't want it in any way. Uh, but they don't take. They take. They, they don't take us seriously. And uh, you know, I think that they take us seriously by now. When we have three hundred thirty thousand people who really want to live there. Who applied for the citizenship but still you know it's early days it's only one month after i set up the country and uh, croatians don't to know what to do about it as well i've contacted foreign ministry and they told me it's a very delicate matter for them at the moment and they think that the project might be successful if it's mainly about uh, freedom and about love and as you know you know we've got both these things right in the name somebody says liberland somebody liberland uh, so I don't think there will be any problem in future. Well, Magnificent, and, and your country is about the size of the Vatican, I understand. Not really. We are actually much larger than Vatican, probably like 10 times. Oh, and we are three wonderful. three times larger than Monaco. It's seven square kilometers, which is like three and a half square miles. As far as I can tell, the smallest countries are the freest, whether we look at Monaco or Andorra or Liechtenstein or uh, San Marino or the other little countries. There, there is probably some relation in that, but the most important thing is the the government. Which, what role does it play in people's lives? So, you know, for example, Liechtenstein, it's a great model uh, of how country can be run. It's another republic. It's run by uh, Hans Adam, who do, does a great job in defending liberties of people. So, I think the most important thing is what the government do to the people, not the size of the government. Or oh, the size of the country. And the size, the size of the government. Size of the, yeah, size of the country. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, uh, is it possible to get a passport? Well, not yet. Uh, they are in print right now, the passports. Uh, but the most important thing at the moment. Anyway, just a short story, you know, it was a pretty hard for the Czech guys to get across the uh, Hungary, Croatia borders. Like the police at the early days tried to do everything to prevent us from going to Liberland, including mm -hmm. crossing the borders, which, you know, Croatia is now part of the European Union. So we, we as a Czechs, as the members of European Union, shouldn't have any problems. But still, you know, people were stuck on borders for three, four hours. And, you know, there were all these scrutinies. And now what? Sounds what, like the U.S. Yeah, well, well, not really. You know, it's not really uh, normal that you get stuck on the borders between Croatia and Hungary. But nowadays, uh, when I go there and I cross the border, I only show them my card, uh, the president of Liberland, and they don't even go and check us the other uh, cars that pass by on the borders. So the situation is changing quickly and uh, even, you know, the border control now recognizes us uh, and I think it's, it's a great uh, development so far. Do you live in Liberland? Well, not at the moment and uh, to be honest, you know, the Croatian police did everything they could to get everybody out of there but we still get some scouts who go there, who live there at the moment. But mm -hmm. uh, it's very funny, you know, the place was freely accessible for some 22 years or maybe even longer. But neither of these countries ever claimed the land, nor the Croatia, or, no, nor Serbia. And now when I said there is a state, you know, it's called Liberland, they totally blocked off the area. They put like 100 policemen on, on the uh, borders. So they basically recognized us just by, just by, you know, doing the border there. And we've got the paper from Serbia, which says this is not their territory, but they are still defending as it was a, a Serbian territory, which is quite funny. Well, states are very jealous organizations, aren't they? They, uh, uh, they don't like other states, and they certainly don't like a new state that would be freer, much, much freer. 
they told us they like us if we are about freedom and love. So I, I don't think there is a problem with that. So how many people would you envision eventually living there? Or do you envision everybody as a part-time resident? Not really. I think uh, we will have a regular city like Hong Kong there in near future. I've got all these architects who are with me now. And I, I just had like the most renowned architect uh, visiting our office in uh, Prague, which we have. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, he proposed some great ideas and he's going to be coordinator for all the future urban designs that there will be. We've got offers from like eight major urban and design companies or arch architects from ar or around the world who want to participate on this project, which is great. Even the guys who built uh, Dubai contacted us and they want to be part of that. Do you have investors or potential investors? Enormous amount of in investors actually from all around the world. When I counted everything together, like uh, when I took this 330,000 applications for the citizenship mm -hmm. and I count together how much they want to invest in Liberland, that's one of the you know things that they have to fill in when they go through application process, we end up with something like $20 billion. Wow. What is your time schedule? What are you hoping to have done and when? Well, what we are doing at the moment, because we have this problem with Croatia police, but anyway, we don't have a problem with the justice. You know, they whenever we try to go to Liberland, uh, they arrest us for crossing Croatia-Serbia border. But it doesn't matter if we go from Serbia side or from from Croatia side. They just decided to block off the whole territory. And uh, you know, even even on Google Maps now, when you go for Liberland, it it shows you on Google Maps where it is, and it says blocked. <laughs> by the by the side you know there's no no entry territory so um i think is what we are doing right now is we are organizing a party every friday and saturday in liberland uh we have a, got a base camp like five kilometers away in serbia where we all people will gather there and they will make a trip to liberland and we always invite the police for the for the party and one day you know they will go with us so i think it's a it's a good way how to keep on reminding people that there is an enormous amount of people who want to live there, who want to make this country happen. Are there politicians in uh, in Croatia or Serbia who support you? I mean, members of the parliament? I met I met lots of people from parliament in Serbia, from Croatia, especially, you know, members of European parliament are very interested in the idea. And uh, it's great, you know, because whenever we take somebody with diplomatic immunity uh, to Liberlan, the police cannot do anything about it. So what we want to do, we want to take these people who have diplomatic immunity for the party in near future uh, so we can access our country in, in a regular um, way, not just like uh, scouts who try to hide so the police doesn't see them. But anyway, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a great uh, adventure for now. Uh, I've got all these interesting people on the boat with me, Swiss Liberland Settlement Company, which is, which is a great uh, large venture by now. You know, all these Swiss decided that they will invest for this project. They sold shares and they are very dedicated to cause of settling Liberland. You know, it might take a few weeks, maybe a few months, maybe a few years. But at the end, you know, there is no way that any country could prevent us from getting this country started in the real terms. Pete, how did you get interested in libertarian ideas? I was like 13 years old when I read Frederick Bastiat and his book Law, which uh, deeply influenced me. And I think everybody should go and read that book. It's very funny when I got all these interviews with international media, and especially the French media, and they mostly don't know about his existence. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, you know, the, all these French people. And I, you should read Frédéric Bastiat. He's a great author. And he is. I would say he was the real founder of classical liber libertarianism. Well, he certainly was a very important thinker, an important uh, writer, important speaker. I mean, a very, very influential so he's a great person to have as your inspiration. And what else? Who else have you read? You know, I think that there are two books, basically, which are most influential for our project. The second is Murray Rothbard, Anatomy of State. When I mm -hmm. take these two books together and combine them, you've got Liberland, basically. It's right there. Well, that's great. Uh, great combination. If people are interested, perhaps, in investing and getting a passport, uh, what do they do? Well, the easiest way is to apply for citizenship and, and basically get it right on spot every Saturday. We will be giving out uh, citizenships. If it's not in Liberland, it will be in our base camp in Serbia. That's the, the best way how to get in touch. Also, we need more people with the boats on the spot to go there and start living in Liberland. They can you know, be five meters away from shore, not bordered by the police, and they can be the first settlers of Liberland. And we are just buying two ships uh, to actually make it happen, to have a, a regular permanent settlement in Liberland, as, as that is one of the conditions of Montevideo conventions, which, which we are uh, ful fulfilling even right now. You know, we've got 
people <laughs> who scout there, who hide, you know, and who go there on a regular basis to take care of our land, despite, uh, you know, the behavior of uh, Croatia police. So anyway, if you want to contact yeah. me, uh, apply for citizenship, and, you know, you can also write me direct email, which is president at Liberland. Dot org if you have some interesting offer for us or if you're interested in the idea. Well, it's terrific. And all of us in the libertarian movement in the United States obviously wish you the best of luck and all success. And who knows, we'll all be applying for passports maybe to go and help as well. So, V, thanks. Thanks for all you're doing. Congratulations and uh, all success. Thank you very much. All success to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, thanks so much for listening to The Lou Rockwell Show today. Take a look at all the podcasts. There have been hundreds of them. There's a link on the LRC front page. Thank you.